are in Unit 8. We're in Arrays Exercise 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow a user to enter any number of double values up to 20. The user should enter 999 to quit entering numbers. Display an error message if the user quits without entering any numbers. Otherwise, display each entered value in its distance from the average. So we clicked here to download our starter code, and I put, put it onto my desktop. Distance from average. So now I'm going to open up JGrasp, and I'm going to open up the file in JGrasp. So I go to my desktop. And there is distance from average. I'm going to open it up. So now I need to declare my variables. So obviously, if the user is going to input something, I'm going to want to have the scanner in here. So let me um, scanner input new scanner system in. Now, obviously, if I'm going to have numbers, um, I want to declare an array of numbers, and I'm going to just call it numbers. And I want um, 20 elements. So it's double because it's, we're going to allow decimals. So I'm going to declare a variable I'm going to call entry. Now I'm going to declare a, du a double I'm going to call total. I'm going to initialize it to zero. Now it tells us that we're supposed to enter five nines for quit. So I'm going to declare a final integer quit is equal to 9999. Obviously, it's a constant variable, so it has to be capitalized. Now I'm going to initialize uh, a couple of variables. I'm going to set x to 0, and I'm going to also initialize y. I'm going to just initialize them on the same line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the user um, either give me a number or um, give me all those nines to quit. So here you go. Now here you have the plus, quit, plus, to quit. Make sure you have those spaces in there so it looks the way you want it to. So what they give me, I'm going to put into the into entry. And so now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to have a while loop. As long as they haven't given me a quit, a 9999, and as long as um, it's less than the length of the array that I made. So it's under 20 numbers, right? So that's my condition for entering my while loop. So I'm going to have my beginning curly brace. So I'm going to have the individual subs of my numbers as whatever the entry is. Then I'm going to add to the number whatever the total is, and then uh, whatever the sub is. So that's total plus equals numbers and with a sub. Now I'm going to add one and, and um, go on. 
Now inside this while loop, I've got an if, and this f is going to check to see if x is less than the length of the array. So now I need an opening curly brace. So I want to see if they want to quit or enter me a new number. So right in here. Enter next numeric value or with that space in there plus quit. That says nine 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 is right. Then space to quit. So I'm giving the options. Are you ready to quit yet? So whatever they give me, I'm going to put into the input. So now I'm going to end this if statement. Close that curly brace out. I'm going to close the curly brace out in that while loop. That should process all the numbers that the user is going to give me. So now I need to do the whole business with the average. So now I'm going to handle the situation. What if there's nothing there? So I'm going to go if x is equal to 0. So I'm going to put, uh, can't be dividing by 0, right? So I'm going to put in there, and we can't compute this. So I wrote, average cannot be computed because number no numbers were entered. So if this is not the case, then I will divide because no one's going to divide by 0. And, and, you know, it's going to blow my program if they do that. So this is an else statement. Give me my curly brace, opening curly brace. So whatever the average is, is equal to, to the total divided by the number of entries. So now I'm going to give them out a report. You entered, whatever you entered, so many numbers, and their averages, and then give them whatever the average is. So now we need to find out how the y number that, that we have in there, how far is that away from the average? So I need to put my calculation. So that's going to be done with a for loop. I'll initialize y to 0. And um, as long as y is less than x, I'll, in, I'll um, add 1 to y. So next I'm going to print out um, whatever I'm going to say and with the calculation in there. So there's your numbers y minus the average plus. So this should work. So I've got two closing curly braces. Um, I need to enter another one. OK, let me compile this. Oh, I've got an extra character. Yes, I've got a backslash there. Let me clear this. Let me run this again. Okay, maybe I forgot to add a variable average. Let me double check. That's correct. I didn't. I didn't 
initialize a variable average. I need to put it in there. Double average and initialize that to zero. Okay, okay, let me save this. Let me clear this. Let me run it again. Okay, it works. So let's try and run it. Enter a numeric value or 9999 to quit. So I'll put in 7. So I'll put in 15. I'll put in 24. I'll put in 99. I'll put in 8. I'll put in 17. Put in 64. So I want to quit. So I'll put my five nines. So it tells me seven numbers and their average and how far each value I entered in is for away from the average. There you go. That's your program.